Hello, my name is Alan Ackerman and welcome to my channel. If you like card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing one of the classics of magic. It's a card at any number, but this version has a little twist. It's a you do as I do version of a card at any number. Let's take a look. <laughs> Hi Sandy. Hi there. We're going to try a little psychic experiment today. So first of all, let's randomize that deck. Let's give it a good shuffle. And uh, what we're each going to do, we're each going to think of a card in this deck. Okay? Now, when psychics work, a lot of times we watch detective shows and we see psychics helping the detectives find a missing person. And they usually... Uh, do this process is called bonding. They have to touch something personal of the missing per person, like a, some clothing or things like this. And for some crazy reason, this helps them in the direction of their psychic process. So we're going to do something a little silly. We're going to bond with a card. Okay? But play yeah. along, and I think you'll see we get two amazing results. Because we're each going to do this. All right? Now, let me give you an example. Let's say I thought of the five of clubs. I'm going to run through the deck, find the card I'm thinking of, and I'm going to upjog it. Okay? So, right, let me show you. I got the five of clubs there. All right? So, I'm going to upjog that five of clubs. I'm going to set it on the table. I'm going to bond to it by placing my right hand over it. Okay? And then I want you to cut the deck into several piles and then bury your thought in that center pile. Just like that. Now, I'm going to turn my head so I can't see anything. I want you to think of any card in the entire deck. Run through the cards, find your thought. Okay, let's Up jog it. the card. Okay. Take it out. Okay. Put your right hand on top of it. Sit on the table, put your right hand on top. Set the deck face down on the table. Mm -hmm. I want you to cut that deck into several piles. Tell me when you've done I'm that. Done. Place your thought of card in the middle pile, and then go ahead and complete the cut. And tell me when you've done that. I am complete. Okay, so you have done that. And you know what? You might have an idea where your thought of card is, so I'm going to just cut the cards again. So now, nobody in the world would have a clue where your thought is mm -hmm. in that deck. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing uh, you did. All right, I'm going to think of... A card. One card. I got one. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is find my card. I'll jog it here. Set it on the table. I bond. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to bury uh, my thought somewhere in this pack. I'm not going to touch that deck again. Okay. Now I'm going to name a number. Twelve. You get to name any number. One through fifty-two. 17. 17. Now, what we just did was, my number 12 is going to be where your thought of card is. The number you named 17 is going to be where my thought of card is. Okay? Mm -hmm. I would like you to count down 12 cards right there on the table, face down, and stop on 12. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12. What card did you think of, Sandy? Five of diamonds. Would you turn over the 12th card? Five oh. of diamonds. Now, that's 12. Let's okay. go on to my number was 17. So, that's 12. Continue. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The card I thought of was the 10 of hearts. Okay. Turn it over. Awesome. Wow. We both have the gift. Yes, we do. <laughs> Hey, if you enjoyed your visit, make sure you click on subscribe. If you like this effect, give it a thumbs up. Now, the year was 1999. I had just released a set of notes called the Classic Handlings. And in there, I had a routine called the Ungaff Ted. And it was a you do as I routine with two mentally thought of cards. I found the spectator's thought and the spectator found my thought. Now, this routine was almost always done with a gimmicked deck, and what I did to the routine was made it so you could do it with a regular deck of cards, hence the title, The Ungaffed Ted. Well, a few years back, 
I got to see a wonderful lecture by Jared Koff, and he started to talk about this routine, and he said, you know, at the end of the routine, each of you are set up to do a card at any number, so the spectator can name a number, and you can name a number, and find each other's thought. I really thought that suggestion added a layer of complexity to my original routine, and really took it to the next level. So this has become one of my favorite card in any numbers. Hope you enjoy this version. My name's Al Ackerman, and I'll catch you next time.